Hello, I'm Paul here. So today I'm going to be talking about a strategy. This is going to be the last time I bring up this particular strategy, but it works really well. I use it. It is pretty much one of the strategies that I use for trading, depending on whatever you know asset is out there. I use this strategy a lot now. It's very effective. But today I'm going to show you how to use uh, this strategy for trading gold. And what it actually does is it helps you find a lot of those volatile moments, uh, a lot of the good moments to actually get into trades. Um, so I did, I have covered this with crypto stocks and the US 30. So I'm going to be going over this with gold. Basically, uh, this does involve kind of a similar uh, with the linear line strategy with uh, some extra in the indicators added to it to confirm things. Uh, so I'm, we're going to load up gold's charts and we're, we're going to be focusing on doing this on the hour uh, because the great thing about this strategy, if you do focus it on the hour, if you do focus on, on the hour, it'll uh, it'll really highlight all, all the key moments to get in trades. Uh, I, I don't really, uh, for smaller time frames, it doesn't really work that well. The longer you go in time frame, the, I think the more stronger the strategy is. So anyway, let me show you how to set it up and uh, we'll go over gold and we'll look at previous prices. We'll look at it on the hour and maybe we'll look at previous uh, smaller time frames, but I don't re recommend it. Uh, we'll look at uh, pre previous uh, days on the chart and we'll see how effective the strategy is. Okay, so what to make the strategy effective, you want to be looking at gold on the hour chart. So... This is not going to be an intraday strategy. If, if you choose to do trading gold on the hour, it's not going to happen all the time. You might find the signal maybe once a week or so, something like that. But uh, but if you do focus on the hour, you tend to find a lot, a lot of the good moves. So uh, you do have to wait for the signal, but it does uh, it does work in my opinion. So. First thing you want to load up is your linear regression candles. I've made videos about this, but uh, basically the, the linear candles is basically optional, but I, I choose to have them on here because they uh, it just looks cleaner in trading and you have a better idea of what's going on compared to what the other candles kind of look like. That kind of looks like a little mess right there. The... Uh, the linear candles just looks a little bit more cleaner. So once you have that and uh, once you have your linear line set up, you just go here to indicators and you go to linear linear regression uh, candles. And once you get to the setting, uh, you're going to be you'll check off the plot line. Now, if you want to do my my other videos where I talk about this, you'll want to put your plot line. But if you want to do it with this strategy, you've got to check off the plot line. The, the, the line just gets in the way and might confuse people. So just check it off for this particular strategy. But if you want to use it for uh, the trading style I did in the previous videos, you, you'll need your plot line. And the next one you need is the L&L &L trend system. So go here to your indicators and you're going to punch in L&L &L trend system. And I have mine already set to a default, but you're going to have to change things up. Uh, basically, I think your the cloud will be showing. But basically, you want to uncheck everything except for the show trend line. And your neutral change to a white and show HTF trend line and neutral line to a white. So once you have that, and then make sure you get a moving average of 200 this will show you the overall trend in the market. And then also I include MACD and the relative strike index to show the overall strength of the market. So you gotta have a you gotta have some confirmation indicators in there as well. So the strategy is very simple. You want to look at your 200 moving average, you want to see what direction everything is going, you want to focus on that direction. So right now the candles are above the 200 moving average, so the tr the the uh, the trend is going up. So that's what we would focus on. We would focus on patterns of it going up. 
So that's what you got to wait on. So since we know the direction right now that the pattern is up because the two the candles are above the 200 moving average, that's what we focus on. So the next thing we focus on is we look at the trend system and what we want to focus on on the hour. And I'm going to hide the linear candles for now. But we want to focus on all the moments where it crosses. So basically you got a cross point right here. Now this the cross point right here, but this is kind of going against the trend. You see it happen again here. You see it happen here, here. You see it happen here. You see it happen here. See it happen here, here, here. See it happen here, here, and here. So you basically get the general idea. You come in your trade every time there is a cross. Every time there is a cross. Now it's good to understand what the overall direction is doing. But what we're basically going to be doing is we're going to be checking these cross points and how much you potentially could make. So we're going to check a couple of these and then maybe we'll go to a smaller time frame to see how that works. But it's crossing right here. Let's double check this. I don't know if that's crossing or not. Oh, that looks like it's crossing, but not yet. It's crossing over here. So you would enter your trade right here and you basically write it out. So you write it out here. Now where you exit, you can exit, exit with the MACD. You can exit when the MACD is touching, when the lines are crossing, or when the RSI is touching. So it's up to you on the moment you want to get out. But refer to the other indicators on, on the moment to getting out. So if we entered here, if we entered here and we rode this out till... Well, you can you can exit here because you so it shows in the MACD, but you could also exit up here where you see it exit with the MACD. You can also see that with the RSI. So this is a a seventy five thousand pip move. I believe yes. Yeah, what was that seventy five? Let's check this real quick. Right up from here to here. This is a. I think it's an 86,000 pip move to 86, around 86,000. That do it at a 0.01. You made $860. So let's check some other ones. There's going to be small ones and there's going to be big ones. So you want to enter your trade every time the lines cross. So we'll look at this one right here. Crosses right about here. And then you basically enter here. And you exit when the lines start touching, which is right about here. And this is about a 21,000 pip move. So that one's going to be 21,000 pip move is about uh, $200 right there. So we see it crossing down here. Right here we see it crossing down. We want to look at the MACD or the, the RSI right here and we see it touching right about here right here to here and this move is a 16,000 pip move 16 about a 16,000 at a point zero one this is a hundred sixty dollars so let's look at some big ones we'll look at a couple more on the hour and you guys get the general idea uh, we see it crossing here, so we enter here, and we exit when it touches the line, which is right about here. This is a 24,000 pip move. Sorry, 24,000. 24,000 pip move at a point zero one is about $240. So that's how to do it on the hour. I recommend doing it on the hour because you will find the best results. But let's real quickly look at this on, on a more of an intraday level. Uh, this is more risky doing it on a smaller time frame. You might enter consolidation periods, so just be careful. 
You need to identify the overall trend. If you're going to do a smaller time frame, you need to look at your 200 moving average, see what the overall trend is doing, and then you just find all the little moments where it's going, and you do the same thing. It crosses right here, and you just it, it, you exit when it touches the linear, or when it touches the MACD, right about here. This is a 8,000 pip move, uh, so this is about $88. Happens crosses again right here, right it out till it touches the MACD, and this is about let's see, sixteen thousand. This is about seventeen thousand point zero one. It's one hundred seventy dollars right there, and then you'll find big moves and you find small moves, but. Most time when you find it with the lines, it leads to some pretty good results. She so crosses again right here. You get out when it touches when it touches the MACD right about here. Get out about here. Now, if you guys haven't joined my Discord, my Discord is free. Uh, but basically, I will use a series of different strategies that I have that work for me. And I point out signals. So uh, this strategy I look for. I do this strategy and a lot of other strategies just to find find my own signals. Uh, if you haven't joined my Discord, there's you know I manually go in and look for good signals. Uh, I don't. I can't go in there every single day and point out signals. But when the signals are there, when I'm available to look for signals, I post it in my Discord as well as. Uh, uh, I you guys can talk to me as well but when I do find those signals I use this strategy as well as a lot of the other strategies that I've talked about on this channel to to find the best signals for um, my group and I call them out uh, join in for free if you want to join that but anyway this strategy works really well I I would focus on the hour because the hour will give you the best results you focus on smaller time frames, you could enter into consolidation periods and just little little pumps and uh, you, doing it on the hour, you'll basically make, you should, should get better results, in my opinion. Especially with trading a more volatile asset, it really helps you show, show you the more volatile moments. But anyway, if you do understand the moments where things are the market's about to shift in direction uh you can mainly get that on the hour if you do do it on a 15 or smaller time frame you won't find those volatile moments uh so i recommend doing this on the hour even though you'll have to wait for that signal but anyway if you guys like this video make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys in future videos